Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates and a very exciting video because today we've got the full reveal and launch of Kyber.gg, the private hosting servers for Battlefront 2. And in this video I wanted to give you all the details about exactly how this works, how you can create and join your own servers and answer a bunch of your questions. I'm recording this video a few days in advance but by the time this video goes live it, the website should also be live with the server hosting but otherwise read the pin comment below the video and I will have the latest news there in regards to when and how these servers will be live. So what is all of this? Well on kyber.gg you can now create your own servers or just join other servers from a server browser. And these servers run completely separately from EA servers. So first of all, you can't get banned through doing this because it doesn't run EA's anti-cheat because it's hosted on completely separate servers, which also means that you can use any mods you would like. You can have crazy servers with, as you will see in the background footage here, Django Fett or Dengar running around. And you can even have a bunch of weapons from Battlefront 1. Use your imagination. All the mods that are currently available can now be played with online on these servers. But I will get a bit more into the specifics later in the video on how you can use these mods and how they prevent hackers and stuff like that. Because you can only use the mods that the server allow, which means you can't just install some crazy damage mod and then join a server. But before I get into all those details, I wanted to show you quickly how it actually works using the Kyber client and joining slash hosting your own server. Again, this is only available on PC if that wasn't clear from the title of the video and my last video. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. It's only gonna be available on PC, but hopefully most of you do have the game on PC considering they handed it out for free about a year ago on Epic Games. They, hopefully they might do that again, otherwise it might actually be worth picking up the game on PC just for this alone. But yeah, if you want to set it up, download the Kyber client to your PC. And then go to the website and first of all if you want to join simply find yourself a server in the server browser that you want to join and if you want to play only with your friends you can have a friend host the server and then set a password so only you and whoever has the password can join launch the kyber client and then launch Battlefront 2 either from Origin or Steam and it will connect to the server that you have selected and you will have a bunch of pop-ups in the corner saying you have successfully connected to the server and so on. And if you want to host your own, you can see an example of that here. I just go to kyber.gg, host, and then I create a supremacy server here uh, and you can choose a bunch of stuff like how many players to allow if it's going to be available in the server browser or not, which side you're hosting from and things like that. And then I click play and same thing again, open up the Kyber client and then launch your Battlefront 2. And once the game is up, you will be on the map and game mode that you have selected. And as the server host, you have a bunch of tools such as being able to moderate. You can ban players if you think they're behaving poorly or if they're simply hacking. And on top of that, you can also add bots. Like right here, I add 39 bots and as you can see, the server fills up and then I can play all by myself. So in this particular case, Supremacy, this is basically like instant action. The difference, however, being that you can have your friends join which they can't in instant action so you can reserve three slots for your friends and fill up the rest with bots i do want to say here though that you can play any mode and map with bots but if you just play vanilla like i'm doing here without any mods it's only gonna work on the maps that have a uh, bots in the game like you know instant action maps but there's a ton of mods you can install that will give you heroes versus villains bots that will give you bots on galactic assault but without mods those simply won't work because those are not available in the game but still i think the big feature of this is being able to host your own server and you can choose how many bots or real players that are going to be on the server and as you can see it's fairly easy to set up the server i just want to give a quick note that some antiviruses might flag the program but they have submitted the launcher to microsoft for review and they've cleared it from detection but there might still be a while before it's cleared on like all antivirus softwares and again i've tested this and i haven't had any issues and they ran big 20 versus 20 test events which is the footage you're seeing in the background where everyone played on their normal origin accounts and no one has been banned so the footage you're seeing in the background is a huge list of mods that they played with in galactic assault and also while we're talking about mods if you want to use mods, I'm not going to go into too much details here, but simply put, you do the same thing you do when you join or host a server. However, instead of launching the game through Origin or Steam, you use the Frosty Mod Manager with the mods that you have added to launch the game, and then your server will have those mods. But the big thing to remember here is that anyone who wants to join a server that has mods, 
will get kicked out of the server instantly if you don't have the same exact mods. So this is simply so that you won't have some weird thing where people have different mods on the same server that just wouldn't work as you might understand. So if you do play on a modded server or have your own modded server, you need to be very clear with people joining what exact mods they need to have. But those are all the basics of how this works. I might do some more in-depth tutorials in the future how to do this, but you guys left a lot of comments on my last video that I wanted to clear up in this video so that you know everything that is going on with kyber.gg. First of all, can you get banned? No, the servers are hosted through kyber, meaning that it's not on EA servers and therefore their anti-cheat won't be used, which is also why you can use gameplay altering mods, which you cannot do uh, if you just play normally online. Exciting stuff is this open source or po with, with possibilities to develop your own mods slash plugins. Would love to see how far you can go and is it possible to edit maps. Maybe we will finally see extraction for more maps. The Kyber client per se is not open source. The reason for this is being protecting the security of the client against hackers and such. But in terms of mods, you can create your own mods the same way you can now uh, through Frosty Mod Manager. Um, this is all separated, so you don't even have to use Frosty Mod Manager to play on kyber.gg, but you only need that if you want any type of mods. So yes, there are custom map mods already that I've even made videos on, on my channel, and the team told me that they should work uh, on kyber.gg as well, but obviously it's a bit complicated and they haven't been able to fully test all the mods. But all the mods that work normally in the game should work on the kyber servers as well so i'm actually not sure if there is a mod out there with extraction on other maps but if not someone is probably able to make that and in that way you can play extraction on more maps a bit complicated but it should work as someone also asked wonder if there will be a server list or you can only create servers between your friends there will be a server browser where you can browse through all the currently available servers and as long as it isn't password protected you can join it but like i said if it is a modded server you need to make sure that you have all the mods installed or the game will crash or disconnect you as soon as you join. But I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who will just be running normal servers without mods. For instance, I would love to have a Galactic Assault server with like only Death Star and some of my favorite maps. And that's probably what I'm going to do in a live stream sometime soon and have all of you join, which is going to be a lot of fun. So are you able to choose any mod to use with these private matches or do these private matches come with their own mods for you to use? I've already explained this previously, but just to be clear, the mods are separated through the Frosty Mod Manager so you can pick any mod from Frosty and, and use those on the servers as long as everyone has the same mods installed. Uh, so there's no separate mod list or anything like that through the Kyber because the mods and the server hosting are completely separated but they still work together. How is it determined what mods you can have installed to connect? There's plenty of mods currently meant to change damage values, health, etc. for personalized single player modded experience. These could be used to cheat. Also what if someone has a full hero change installed with custom abilities but I do not have that mod. How does that work? Any info you can get for your follow-up video later this week would be much appreciated. So, basically the Kyber client checks when you boot up the game which mods you have installed and active when you are booting up the game and it will compare that to the server host. And if you do not have the same mods installed, for instance, if you do have like some type of damage changing mod, you will be disconnected slash crashed out of the game. So this won't be a problem. And in terms of the whole hacking and banning situation, the uh, host of the server can ban anyone it wants on the server. And also the admins of Kyber can actually ban someone from all the Kyber servers as well if they are 100% sure that that person is hacking. So there won't be any issues with the 1% HP hack that is currently going around on PC as that simply won't be possible on the Kyber servers. And lastly someone asked what if I just want to play with a couple of friends will the extra slots be filled with bots or is it just my friends and I without bots? That is the awesome thing about this. You can choose to play for instance uh, Supremacy with three friends and then you can add in 36 bots. That's completely fine and that's what I did in, in, in the example earlier. The only thing I want to reiterate here is that if you want to play any mode or map that isn't available in instant action you will need to have a mod installed for the bots to work uh, properly because there simply isn't any heroes versus villains bots built into the game by default so you need a mod in order to make that available but other than that yes you can pick how many friends and how many bots you want to have in a game uh, which I think is an absolutely fantastic feature. But I think that covers most of the stuff uh, in regards to kyber.gg. Obviously, uh, it's probably going to be a little bit of issues and crashing at the start when they hash out all the initial issues. 
but I have done some testing myself and they did the 20 versus 20 event which worked really well with like 15 mods installed so I think this has a ton of potential and I will definitely do a bunch of live streams myself hosting these type of games so uh, yeah I'm excited for this project and see it grow and see what type of servers you guys might set up um, but yeah, if you guys have any further questions, leave them in the comments below or on any of Kyber's uh, social media and me or someone from the team will respond to you. Thank you very much for watching and as always, may the force be with you.